Investigative findings. First one is uh, 03IG-2022. Meeting virtually, Inspector General Ed Harness presented his office's investigation of LMPD's handling of their investigation into the brutal attack on Mary Spaulding. This case was instrumental in our determination to begin the pattern and practice uh, review of the Detective Bureau for LMPD. The Inspector General had recommended to dig deeper into Spaulding's case after she filed a complaint in June of 2022. Three and a half years earlier, on December 17, 2018, Spaulding had been beaten almost to death in her own basement, with no signs of forced entry and nothing stolen. Detective Deidre Mangadote was the lead in the investigation. But when an MSD truck struck and killed her in her cruiser, just seven days later on Christmas Eve, LMPD eventually transferred Spaulding's case to another detective. And then two years later, when that detective left the department, her case was transferred to yet another detective. Spaulding complained after Detective Mangadote's tragic death, her case was never really handled properly. Do you believe this was a domestic violence case? Yes. Why? Um, because uh, my ex, we had just recently broke up. But her case was never classified as domestic violence, and her ex-fiance was never interviewed. Spaulding also complained evidence was missing from her case file, and that tests done on blood found near her back door, including a bloody shoe print, were not done properly. The Inspector General's office agrees, recommending to the Civilian Review and Accountability Board that LMPD detective work needs improvement. LMPD current case management style increases the seriousness and bright and widespread level of misconduct as displayed within this report. Status of her case currently closed. Spalding, more than five years later, making as much noise as I can, <laughs> refuses to give up on what she would call a true investigation. John Charlton, WHS 11, on your side.